now we have Jess Hulgraves, the co-founder and COO at Codex Protocol. Codex Protocol is a decentralized title registry for the $2 trillion art and collectibles asset class that also ensures privacy for collectors. Can you please give Jess a very warm welcome to the stage? Good afternoon. Uh, my name's Jess Holgrave. I'm the co-founder and COO of Codex Protocol. My original background was in private equity and finance, but uh, I've reformed. And in 2016, I wrote a master's thesis at Sotheby's Institute of Art on the application of blockchain for the art market. If you've never bought a piece of art or a collectible before, you may not know just how hard it is. Imagine you're trying to buy a painting or some fine wine. How do you find the item? How do you know how much it's worth? How do you know if it's authentic or not? How do you participate in that auction? And finally, when you have it, how do you prove your ownership and preserve the value for the next buyer? It's hard. And I'll tell you why it's hard in a moment. But first, let me tell you why it's important for you. Art and Collectibles is a $2 trillion asset class. It's an asset class that sophisticated investors have been using for hundreds of years as an uncorrelated store of value. And it's something that the crypto wealthy, no doubt, would want to diversify into if only it were easier. My co-founder has started and sold a venture-backed online marketplace for art and collectibles. And so we know firsthand just how difficult it is. And the reason it's difficult is because of provenance. It's where the item has come from, who has owned it, whether it's authentic or not. These two Jackson Pollocks are believed by almost all experts both to be authentic. They've been tested with paint samples from Jackson Pollock's studio. The one on the right has been owned by a series of notable collectors and sold at valuable and respected institutions like Sotheby's Auction House. This one was found in a garage. All the experts concur that it is probably real, but the discount that the market applies to an item with no provenance is so severe that this item will not sell. Storing provenance on the blockchain is an obvious use case, but a centralized title registry doesn't work in the art and collectible space because of the high level of privacy that collectors demand. Blockchain, therefore, is the answer. With blockchain, we can build a decentralized title registry, which stores this information whilst preserving the privacy that collectors and institutions demand. And that's why we're building the Codex Protocol, which is a decentralized title registry for art and collectibles. It's designed to support third-party applications. The token within it is used to amend, create, transfer titles which exist within the registry layer. And any application built on top will need those tokens to access the title registry. The absolute cost of doing so will be inversely proportional to the tokens staked within the application. This means that the rational application designer is incentivized to build in staking mechanisms into every application, regardless of the end user. And we're building the first application to drive adoption of the protocol. Biddable will allow people to bid instantly and register anonymously to participate in an auction and to pay with cryptocurrency instead of fiat. And we know that this will be adopted because we have a consortium of the biggest auction software providers in the space who serve over 5,000 auction houses, selling 10 million items per year, that's 10, not one, <laughs> and, uh, and $6 billion of value. Between them, they have 31 million bidders participating already on the system, 
and our software will be directly integrated with theirs from the time of the product launch. With the codex, all of the things that we discussed earlier, finding items, valuing them, knowing how much to pay for them, knowing whether they're real or not, stops becoming so hard and becomes easy. The team, we're nine people in total, and these are the founders. We have backgrounds at Sotheby's, uh, Lofty.com, which is the online marketplace that Mark founded and sold, um, Microsoft, Bessemer Venture Partners, uh, OP Trust, uh, and a variety of others. Since our launch, uh, about four weeks ago, we, we've had a really successful time. Um, we've had great reception both from the crypto community and also from the art world. We've had numerous people, uh, whether they be insurers, logistics companies, galleries, and institutions, contact us with a view to building applications on top of the protocol. We have a good team of advisors, too. Uh, Brooke Hazelton is the president of Christie's Americas, which is one of the world's largest auction houses. Uh, Joey Krug from Orga. And we've secured investment from uh, investors including FJ Labs and Bessemer Venture Partners. And we announced this week a $5 million investment from Pantera Capital into our presale. Codex is set to become the industry standard in the art and collectibles world. Uh, I really welcome you to find out more and have two minutes to answer any questions that you have about it. What are the investment terms? Um, so we're in, sorry. Uh, the question for everybody was what the investment terms are. Um, we're in a pre-sale at the moment. Uh, the absolute uh, discount is dependent on the vesting period that investors are willing to take. So uh, they range from a 5% discount for a zero vest through to a 35% discount for a 15 month, uh, sorry, a nine month vesting period. Which blockchain are you gonna use? We're built on the Ethereum. So we're using non-fungible tokens as the title registry and ERC20 tokens for our mechanism. 